how to make a mind map in Google Drive using a Google Drive mind mapping tool. Let's do this. Hey, it's Oz here with another quick video tutorial and this time I'm showing you how to make a mind map in Google Drive. I'm going to be using a mind mapping app that works in Google Drive and seriously you love how easy this is. You can create free mind maps, really nice looking mind maps by the way, very easily and very fast using Google Drive. So let's do this. The first thing you want to do is log into your Google Drive account. Once you're logged in, click on the new button in the top left hand side and then select more from the bottom of the pullout menu. Now here in the sub menu, you can see some apps that are already installed in Google Drive. What you want to do here, the very first time you do this, is go to connect more apps and click on that. Now this will bring up a window with all the available apps that you can have in Google Drive. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to type mind in the search box and I'm going to hit enter. This filters out all the results and shows me all the apps that have the word mind. Most of these apps are going to be mind mapping tools. And you can see that this is so in these results. You can see MindMap, MindDomo, Coggle, MindMeister and the list goes on. So I'm going to choose the very first app, which is MindMup. The reason I'm going to choose MindMup is because I've tested a few apps and I really like how this one works. So what I suggest is just watch me using MindMup. And if you like the look of it, good. If not, you can install other apps and give those a go. And by the way, if you do and you find a cool one, then please leave me a comment and let me know the name of the app. That way everyone benefits. Okay, so I'm going to click on connect. And this is going to install MindMap. OK, let's hit OK. And I'm going to close this window now. This brings me back to my Drive dashboard. And once again, I'm going to click on New at the very top left. I'm going to go to More. And now you can see in the sub menu that the last item is the app that I've just installed, which is MindMap for Google Drive. So I'm going to click on that and this is going to open up this screen where I'm going to create the mind map. Now, the first time you do this, the app will ask for permission. So just click OK and just allow. OK, so this brings us to the dashboard where I can create my mind map inside Google Drive. So what I'm going to do here is double click inside that bubble in order to edit it. And I'm going to call this shopping list. Now, what I did there is I typed in shopping list and then I hit enter and immediately that bubble resized to fit around the text. Now, watch that happen when I continue to create nodes and type. What I want to do right now is I'm going to zoom in here so that we have a better view of the mind map. And here I'm going to click on this item, which says insert sibling node. Now, this enables you to create another separate node, which I'm going to call list two. Now, this is really cool. A lot of people in the comments in the past have asked how to create separate nodes using other tools. Some tools snap to grid automatically and make it really difficult to have a separate node. But with this tool, you can do this very easily. Now, I'm going to click on the undo button. That's going to undo the text. And I'm going to undo again and undo the node altogether. OK, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the insert child node and this is going to insert a child node of shopping list here i'm going to type in fruit i'm going to hit enter and that's going to solidify the node now this time instead of hitting the menu item to create a child node i'm going to hit tab on my keyboard and that's going to do the same thing here i'm going to type in bananas i'm going to hit enter that's going to solidify that node now i'm going to hit enter on my keyboard and that's going to create a node underneath, which is still a child node of fruit. So this time I'm going to type apples and hit enter. Now watch this. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. That's going to create a new node. And let's say I decide that I didn't really want to do that. All I have to do is hit escape on my keyboard and that undoes that action. It's the same as hitting undo here in the menu. Now I'm going to use the navigation keys to go back one to the fruit node and then back again to the shopping list. Now I'm going to hit tab and type veg. Enter again to solidify. And did you see how that node just slid smoothly along? The app does this automatically to create a perfect balance. That is a lovely feature. Now I'm going to hit tab again. And now I will enter letters, enter, and see how that node slid again. 
watch this i'll hit enter and type in cucumber and enter again you see how the slide it creates a perfect visual balance now this time i'm going to hit the shopping list node with my mouse once again i'm going to hit tab now i'm going to type in dairy enter and see the way everything spaces out automatically i just love that feature okay so let's hit tab and let's type in cheese enter enter again once again everything resizes and realigns let's type in butter enter and that solidifies that node now this is a really nice looking mind map and you also have the ability to publish this mind map if you want to make it public what i'm going to do though is i'm going to go to file and i'm going to go to download as here i'm going to select pdf there are some options here i'm going to leave those as default i'm going to hit the export button now that the export is complete you can see that there are different options i can send to drive i can send it by email to someone else i can open it or i can download it so i'm going to click on download and this is the final result this is how you can start creating mind maps using google drive right now it's completely free the mind maps are really nice you can plan all your projects this way and export them all to pdf you can also keep your copies on your google drive so they are easily accessible you can always edit them that way and it doesn't cost a penny how cool is that let me know in the comments how you use this and as i said before if you find another app that's even cooler than this one then please share and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all these cool tools and as always take it easy and i shall see you in the next video